I'm sure that you guys are fully aware of all of the people talking about the RTX 5070, the RTX 5080, the RTX 5090, and all of the updates regarding the price, the amount of VRAM that they're going to have, the price of them. There is a couple of other things that I would like to go over with you as well. Some uh, Intel and AMD comparisons. But first up, let's go over the actual title of the video. The NVIDIA RTX 5090 is going to have 32 gigabytes. The 5080 is going to have 16 gigabytes and 24 gigabytes. Yes, NVIDIA is once again going to be pulling the exact same thing that they did with the 40 series. And then the RTX 5070 is going to have 12 gigabytes. And I'm going to take a wild guess that we will also have a 16 gigabyte version of the RTX 5070. But prices, remember when everybody was like, nah, dude, the 5080 ain't going to be 1500 bucks. Sorry, bub, but I was right. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Leaks, of course, but either way, the RTX 5090 is going to be apparently $1,999 or... In other words, three grand for you and me, <laughs> because that's MSRP and they are saying it's going to go up to $2,500, but I'm going to take a wild guess that NVIDIA will sell it at $2,000 MSRP, but none of us will be able to get it under $3,000. Now, as far as all of the specs and that kind of stuff, obviously for reasons I, I very highly doubt that I need to explain. I'm not going to be going over all the information that you've probably already heard the other bajillion creators covering the exact same thing. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below we got the gpu name we got the whatever all this stuff right here all the specs and all that kind of stuff my webcam's not covering anything here so i guess i could actually zoom in even more appreciate you wccf tech for making an article that zooms in properly so now power we we got to talk about power dude and i i, I also got to talk about the numbers here because look all right we have the 4080 that on paper is a turd bucket in comparison to the 4080 super but then when you get the 4080 super on paper theoretically the numbers are better we got better vram we got better this we got better that we got higher clock speeds we got better that we got better design better cooling better everything all of it's better except the power so when you use your 4080 super that at least to me is kind of common sense that a graphics card that cost 300 dollars less is not going to be as good as the other graphics card that nvidia claims is worse yet still costs 300 dollars less this is a marketing tactic that not only nvidia does not only intel does not only amd does but literally every company on the planet that advertises their things does everybody does it okay so we need to keep that in mind when looking at all of this stuff all the other articles are kind of just confirming the exact same thing but sort of renaming the titles so that we waste our time reading the entire article so this right here nvidia's rtx 5070 is rumored for a ces 2025 reveal but i kind of think that people need to calm down over its unconfirmed memory specs so ces 2025 nah, nah, nah. so if we come down here i'm just really like blazing through the numbers and not really caring about the letters just like everybody with a 190 all right so we got right here the headline news is that it's said to feature 12 gigabytes of i really appreciate you elgato or is that what's gonna be happening now is that what what we're gonna have to deal with with my bios update really i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to deactivate it and then reactivate it i love you asus you're so awesome oh wait no not asus windows definitely windows update Definitely Windows update. I know you guys all installed the update as well. Well, uh, we uh, please shut down and restart your computer to install the update. But the only problem is the update is going to break everything. And then your RGB isn't going to work. And you're going to also need to update Armory Crate because apparently Windows needs to interact with Armory Crate. And now I'm also going to apparently have to 
update my USBs as well, Windows. Like, why can you not just, like, keep my shit and my settings the way, the, the way I have it? Why do you have to update my stuff? Let me guess. I'm also using the incorrect microphone, right? I swear to God, dude. Properties. Okay, thank freaking God. It's done that to me, too, as well. It uses my camera, microphone, and then I go and re-watch re a video that I, I literally have a full computer built. I'm like, dude, no, nah, really? Come on. You use my... F I really hate Windows. You have no idea. Anyways, getting a bit off topic here. Yeah, I'm sure you guys read all of that as I rambled and said the exact same thing that you were probably also thinking. So, AMD, dude. I, I'm just being real with you. The AMD's gonna be focusing on CPUs. There's just there's no way around it. Their their artificial intelligence CPUs are performing really well, and that's I really think that's what AMD needs to focus on, and I think that's what they're going to focus on. Um, just because the benefit that AMD has over Intel, like when it comes down to like the mini PCs and that kind of stuff, is AMD has their FSR that you can also use with their. Uh, cpus like the the mini computer that we did over there with the 8945 hs and everybody's saying nah dude you can't play games at 1440p with that that's not that's not true fully aware dude no you, you definitely can't play 1440p on a mini computer that without a gpu in native resolution but dude like just use artificial intelligence it literally looks the same thing and if you bought a little mini computer expecting it to be an absolute beast for 1440p gaming, I don't really know what's going on with your brain because I feel like my brain is functioning pretty poorly and even I'm able to comprehend a mini computer is not going to be playing games at 1440p max settings and then even being able to freaking go into 4K. I'm just like, apparently, I have superhuman intelligence that surpasses the universe, I guess. So this right here, more numbers for everybody that believes them, I guess. <laughs> because you it's true man it's like the 4080 super it's true on paper it's supposed to perform better but man, and just so we're clear i do have they wanted it it's not my computer i tried explaining to them that it's not going to be as good so just so we're clear i do have 4080 super and yes like i build computers too so like this is a 4080 70 ti super i have a 4090 in my computer so yes dude okay my eyeball is itching right now. I have no idea why. Um, and we are also going to be doing a 9950X build. And I also got one of the new 870 motherboards from ASRock. And then I also have one from ASUS that's going to be coming as well for the 9800X 3D. So now that we're talking about the CPU aspect of said video and my retro gameplay of Donkey Dork already repeated itself that is what this game is for everybody wondering it's called wii u mod on emulator it's right nintendo i use an emulator i use an emulator to play your for your games sorry nintendo sue me just like you do everybody else so anyways that's how i'm able to play that game in widescreen for everybody wondering how do you play donkey dork in widescreen that's impossible to do it's not impossible to do you see that right there it's literally not impossible that's not fake widescreen. I'm just saying. That's not fake widescreen. Um, literally lost my train of thought. Uh, so we're, we're talking about the 50 series graphics card. We're talking about... Shit. Damn, I forgot where I was going with all that stuff. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> uh, so now that I don't remember where I was headed, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, just kind of give my opinion on the 50 series and uh, Intel's new CPUs and then the 9800X 3D that Intel has confirmed will be faster than their Core Ultra 285. Right, that's their high-end one. They kind of freaking named their new CPUs pretty stupidly and I don't really remember. Like, they could have just named it really clean and been like, oh, we have a... We have a, a 290 or Core Ultra 9 290K. We have a Core Ultra 7 270K. We have a Core Ultra 5 250K. They could have just named it really cleanly, but no, we got to do 285K, 280K, 275K, 
to this, to that, ultra, and I'm sure we're going to have a bunch of G's and P's and E's and F's and S's and L's and Z's and Y's and YS's and whatever, HPG's and XE2K squared with a minus 20. That's what we're also going to have, okay? So, Intel, awesome. I love your naming so you can confuse everybody about your potato-ass CPUs. They're utterly pointless to upgrade to. So, now that we're all uh, miscombobulated in what... Yeah, it is 285K, okay. I was going to say, I knew I had it opened here somewhere. <laughs> so, the Core Ultra 285K. So, this is they've already confirmed all the stuff that I'm about to spit out of my mouth, so I'm not talking gibberish. And I really do want to just call it the 5900K. And I'm sure you all want to call it the 5900K as well because of how stupid. <clears throat> Holy moly. How stupid. Oh my God, my coffee's kicking in. I always get heartburn, but I need my caffeine. Uh, so it's going to perform pretty much the exact same as a 14900K. They're just avoiding the complaints of people, um, rightfully so, talking about how much power the 14900K consumes. And then also, they are, uh, I want to say lie, but it's not a lie because technically the CPU does not die now or whatever they're doing. But I don't know about you, anybody else that also has a 14900K, we like, we're, we're now getting like i3 performance with their flagship CPU because they apparently felt the need to update a BIOS into the most obnoxious like potato freaking performance ever and now we run into whatever when you use programs that actually require power like video editing hence me your uh cpu is gonna perform like an i3 so that is why i got this fella <laughs> because your boy is gonna be switching <laughs> but uh because <laughs> i'm not putting up with that crap so either way man the reason i'm covering all this stuff and that i'm talking about it all is because you got to keep your expectations realistic here's the prices i knew it was somewhere i've been trying to that's why i haven't been able to use my whatever my my mind here so these are the prices that you're seeing right here i very highly doubt the 5070 look dude i get it i know that you're all like oh there that's not how that's not how everything works that's they're not, they're not gonna like they're not going to make their 5070 more expensive than the 4070 because it's the new one. And they always lower the price of the 40 series. If you ask, dude, I just, I'm, I'm going to let you make your own opinion after I say this right now. Okay. The people that are like saying that I'm fully aware that that's normally what happens. But I think that people seem to have forgotten that Nvidia has zero competition now none zip nada as in they can do anything they fucking want to do at this point they could literally charge seven thousand dollars for their rtx 5070 and stamp ai on it and every dumbass that literally believes every single item on the freaking or being sold that has the words ai on it are actually ai we, dude, we literally got tennis rackets that are AI now. We have golf clubs that are AI now. Do you really think artificial intelligence is like just like reading your swing and like slamming your golf ball where you want it to go? Come on, dude. Like fucking egg. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about all this. I don't really feel like getting off topic into tennis balls and golf balls. I know you guys all want me to talk about balls, but I'm not going to. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. <laughs> about, <laughs> about all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know. Peace.